Hi everyone, this is Torin Khan from TK3D Prints. Reaver Point recently reached out to me asking me if I wanted to try out their Pop 1 from their original Kickstarter, which was two years ago. Now, I like to scan things, who doesn't? I have quite a few scanners myself, and uh, I was glad of taking the opportunity to give this scanner a test. Quick announcement before the main video. Again, Reaver Point brought out a Pop 1 very successful Kickstarter. And then just recently we've had the Pop 2 which is a more higher accuracy and uh, again both of these scanners are for doing very large objects. Now for a long time I've been looking for a scanner that can do small items. Now the nearest thing I could find for a home user is a jewelry scanner which is going to cost about five grand and uh, that's a lot of money for us home users and so when i first heard about the announcement for the reaper point mini this is a game changer this is a jewelry scanner this is for scanning small items now some of you are in the know of what i'm on about here yeah i'm sure you've got plenty of stuff out on your shelves there that you want to scan and want to get printed and this is the scanner for you now from what I can tell from the price of this, when it's again, as I just said before, for anything this quality, you're talking like five grand, and you can have a look out there for scanners and check out the prices. You know, what I mean, you'll be shocked. Not good for home users. Now, this early bird is about half price. I would highly recommend that you go and check it out. I've been following it and following some of the beta testers and uh, I'm going to show you some of the things that they've scanned. I mean obviously you can see this here and the size of the figure and the quality of the print. And here are some more, you know, I mean you can guarantee it's a jewelry scanner and it's amazing quality. And if you've got that extra little bit of cash and you're a hobbyist, it's a, a brilliant investment. So I would advise you to jump on it now. Have a check on the pages. I'll put links below. Give it a read. If it's your thing, then back it. Now I can guarantee that this is their third Kickstarter. They followed through every time. Even when we had COVID, they followed through with it. It took them a little bit longer to get the, the items out, but you know, it's sorted. They've worked hard and they update their software as well quite a lot. It's not just a case of like you get the unit and then you never get updates. Since I've had their Pop 1, they've done three major updates with their software and it's improved the scan quality immensely. And I know there's a new piece of software being beta tested at the moment for the, uh, the Mini. So, guys. Yeah, I mean, these are the scans. It's a no-brainer. Head out, check it out. If you like it, back it. And uh, I'll be doing a review of this unit as soon as possible and give you my actual take on it once I actually get my hands hold of one. But for now, links are below. Head over to the pages, give it a read. And... Uh, the next part of the video will follow through where I use the pop one and scan an item and take it all the way through the uh, process of putting it through a slicer, showing users how with that are new to 3D printing as well, what they can do with this bit of kit. Okay, have a great day everyone, check it out and thanks for listening.